Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. Oh, Ay, Diosito. Yeah. Ey, tú pareces el jefe ahorita con la tejana y botas and the hat. Es que no me Just, dijo a mí, like, no me dijo. It, he's like, I didn't get the memo, guys. No me By the way, he didn't. <laughs> The farmer's <laughs> stand. Oh, that's messed up. No, I understand. Just, I mean. Get it, we'll get it. Dre, did, Dre, did you know there's, there's, love has a sound? Did you know this? Do, do did you don't know, know the sound? This, that's the question. Let me show did you. you know this? Show. <laughs> that's a lot of love right there. Hey, tell us like podcast, baby, most authentic, most organic podcast out here. Let's go. This episode was brought to you by ShopSegura.com, a Western fashion boutique where you can find all your latest and greatest cowgirl needs, from modern to chic to classic timeless looks. Be sure to check out ShopSegura.com and use code ATTL at checkout. Now let's get back into it. Hey, we're back. We're back. I just want to thank JLV Pest Control for letting us borrow their, their ranch. <laughs> Number one sponsor <laughs> here, sponsor. you know. Sponsor us all year, you know. They they see the value in us and <laughs> they just they maintain They're us. the ones that believed in us. Yeah, when yeah. nobody else did. Dang. <laughs> they saw the value. Yeah. They saw the, they saw the they potential. Saw the they saw the potential. Absolutely. Yeah. Before we keep going, for everybody watching, I appreciate you guys. Make sure you guys subscribe, follow Instagram, TikTok. To my right, I got my guy Pepe in the house, baby. Pepe, yeah. That's right. And honestly, I see you guys' comments. And we get a lot of good feedback for having a special individual on the podcast. <sighs> the one and only Jack Jack Segura. Yeah. I'm me getting jealous over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's about to be a Jack Jack takeover. Hey. It's all good. It's all good. Tell me it's a good Jack time. Jack takeover. Tell me your friends are toxic <laughs> without telling me. No, dude. I was like, the fuck? Why is she coming back? But, man, honestly, like, before we keep going, because... I know everybody watching. If you're watching right now, you're gonna be like, "Por qué verga se puso una tejana? Por qué tiene las botas?" I mean, that's what, a good question, what's going though, on? I'm what are the vibes? Wondering the same thing. Why you know, are you wearing a I do want to clarify. Hat and boot. I do want to clarify. We haven't had a guest on the podcast in a long time. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It has been. Energy has been crazy. We've been traveling. Shout out to 33 AF for taking us everywhere, and we're joined in by a special person. From my hometown, Baldwin Park, okay, Nereida, are you ready yeah. for this? We got the one and only Nereida in the house, baby, let's go. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Family owns Broken Horn Yes. in the city of Baldwin Park, California. Now, for the mother that don't know, we have the first in and out. That's all I got to say. Is that so? Yes, they do, actually. Yeah. Yes, Is that do. so? It's very tiny. Do they also have the first Broken Horn? Yes, they do. That's what matters. Ah, right? That's yeah. what I'm talking about. That's, that's what, I'm what matters. matters. Yes, they do. Get in and out, but they but got it, Broken Horn. And Broken Horn carries like a it's, le- it's a ooh, legend. It's, yeah. it's it was yeah. It was originally opened in 1956 oh, by yes. a family who actually started it with just a little room to repair saddles. That's why, if you know the history, it's, it was called Broken Horn Saddlery for a long time. So for people that don't know the history, <laughs> yeah, that talk exactly. about it. There's there a history. Um, talk, talk a little bit about it. The store was owned and started in 1956 by a family who's kept it in the family for generations. Um, within the little room, they grew up to a three-story, amazing store. Uh, they sold every. They sold everything from tack to western wear, equestrian saddles. They repaired the saddles. They had, I think, two, three repair guys there. Uh, shoe repair, silversmith. They had absolutely everything. It was the top Western store probably in SoCal. Um, and the family eventually, after so many generations, decided to sell. Uh, they sold the location first. And from there, my mom and my sisters and I decided to take it on. We took on the name. And so that's where we started. We continued it with just it being a family. So it's still very family-owned, very family-knit, but uh, a little bit smaller, <laughs> which I know if you guys know about Broken Horn and you've been to the new store, it's definitely way smaller than the older one, but it has a lot of love to it as well, just as much as the other one. So, In yeah. what ways has it changed? Other than the, it, the size, other than a size, lot. other than size. Um, we also started a online store. So okay. if you guys nice. aren't in Baldwin Park or near us or don't visit us often, 
Brokenhorn.com, guys. <laughs> we ship. A discount code ATTL. That's not live, but it will. I'll let you know when. We'll talk about it. I'll let you know when. Let me talk to the girls. Free shipping. Let me talk to the girls. But hey, let's give it up. Her mom, her sister, and her, they took on the name, so. Yeah. And if you know, you know, Broken Horn has been legendary. It has. Like, in the Western space and in Mundo yeah. Vaquero. It's been around a long time, and if you know, you know. Yep, it's been family. My grandparents used to go. My grandma used to go. My great-grandma used to go. That's what we hear when we get customers that are forever Broken Horn customers, whether they continue to go or they respectfully, you know, decide yeah. not to because it's not their store no more, which is, you know, something which we have adjusted okay. to. Yeah. But either way, they're always going to be Broken Horn customers because the family prior to us did it with love, loved their customers. So, you know, we still love everybody. ¿De dónde son tus...? Tus papás. Um, somos de Zacatecas sí, and yes, Jalisco. Yeah. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. As you guys can tell, if you sí. guys can see the record. Sí, me yeah. paisana. There it is. Yes, yes. <laughs> what uh, part of Jalisco? Um, El Grullo. El Grullo, Jalisco. I actually haven't been too much because I didn't really like it. I'm from the rancho. <laughs> <laughs> so I Zacatecas is girl. where She's I was like, at. Like, a rancho. Go, She's are. a rancho, <laughs> which, <laughs> which explains your kind of path into broken, broken horn. horn. Yes. Yeah. Please. And, Please. So like, originally, guys, I grew up in San Pedro, and if you know San Pedro, it's by the beach. Shrimp, the port. Yes, eh? San Pedro Fish Market, I guys. They joke. have a truck now, by the way. They still sell their platos. They do. Oh, do yes, I? they do. Stop by. Hey, There's always people. I used to give people. the bread out to to the birds. To that's a waste of bread. The pan was good. Oh, no, no. The I, pan I, was delicious. No, I para hard. todos. I, I haven't been. <laughs> you, so I've back just seen. Then, okay, the house yeah, changed. Yeah, back then, yeah. It was nice. Chiquis went. To th we've had people go, but it was fun back then. But now, I mean, they still have their, um, it's like a food truck, and they still sell the shrimp. So if you guys want to ever go, it's very it's gentrified. Still good. Mm -hmm. Gentrification is taking over a lot of places. Y yes, it is. Which but I think is very important of, like, having our roots, going back to our roots, showcasing it. You know, whether it's dressing up the way we do, whether it's playing the music that our parents used to play or listen to. Is just coming, like, show, showing right now the world and the young generation coming up. It's like, no, this is. Stay true to yourself. Stay yes, true. Stay true to your so, roots. That keeps almost. Mm -hmm. Yep. And nothing's going to change that. It's never going to leave you, even if you try. Yeah, yeah. no. What, uh, I mean, really fast, like, what kind of uh, your parents? Oh, Mexicans. ¿Cómo dicen? ¿Qué te inculcaron? Like de todo, what? coleaderos, bailes, ranchera, like everything that you can think of. I mean, I live by the beach, but I still me enamoré de esa vida. It's all I ever knew. Nice. Um, if you've been out to Avocado Heights, the yep. parque, yep. that's yep. where I used to spend any weekend. <laughs> carne asada, montando with my tíos, yep. So, you know, the passion has always been there. I've always loved it. It's always been a part of me. Um, summers in Mexico. They never changed, so it's kind of trippy because I didn't really want the store, to be quite honest. Me, mm. myself, my mom came and talked to her three daughters, told us, you know, hey, I want to buy the store. I'm kind of in the last process of it, so hey, what about I want a store? Oh, she was already so was doing it. About. My mom, my mom, my mom's a badass. Excuse my French, but uh, yeah, she told us, and so it took me a while because I was like, oh, you know. Are you the middle child? Are you the I'm oldest? I'm actually the baby. She I am baby. baby. I'm just she a baby. baby. I'm just a little baby. I'm just a little baby. <laughs> we put two girls. So, did your family have like any background too, in friends. like owning businesses or entrepreneurship or anything like that, or how did you guys dive Absolutely into buying this whole not. thing? Not my mom is. Um, she actually was VP for a company for a very long time, fifteen plus years. Wow. Um, associate's degree in college, but she worked herself up, and she's probably the smartest woman I'll ever meet in my whole entire life. Um, she is very smart, but she's also, you know, when you, when I talk about her, it's cause you know, with mistakes, she learns, she'll go on and she'll research, yeah. she'll ask, she'll talk whenever she has to, cause she's not sure. Yeah. So, you know, little by little, as I was seeing her fall in love with opening a new store, you know, I started falling in love with it mm. cause you know, I'm her mini me. <laughs> It was going to happen. Did you have a passion or a love for something else prior to having this idea of a store? 
I was actually, uh, I had just graduated and started my job as an LVN. Oh, so I was wow. a nurse prior to the store. I had just graduated. I finished during COVID. That's quite a change. That's a, that's a little that's different a route, from, I would say. From yeah. LVN to a business yeah. owner. <laughs> yeah. Not, and, it, and it's huge because, you know, as coming from our Mexican parents, we need to follow footsteps. We need to live out their dream of what they wanted us to be. And I, and I understand it's like what this world came to, right? Like they came from their país to the United States. So they needed us to have that top tier job, which was it. At the time, it was it being a teacher, being a lawyer, being a cop, mm -hmm. being X, Y, and Z. But to later find out, maybe for us, that's not our path. And then maybe it wasn't what they wanted for us. But you let something that you work very hard for go to come and help your mom and be a part of your mom's dream. I have zero regrets. <sighs> zero, zero it. regrets. Why is that, though? Because I get to work with my family every day, although we drive each other crazy, guys. <laughs> Absolutely crazy. It's just so beautiful to have something that's ours. Something where I see my mom kill herself working for a company that didn't value her. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And to see her work just as hard, but it's hers. Yeah. It's it's ours. That's what she always says. So it's ours. Wow. And the beauty in that will forever be me being a nurse. I get to actually enjoy, you know, working. We have bad days, but those bad days mean nothing because we have so many more good days doing it together. And I feel like it's a way we can all stay together. It's always just been us, my mom and her girls and my grandma. So it's Does it ever get tricky though? Like dealing it's with your females. sister and your mom's exactly. It's an all female team. I didn't want to say it, but it's you an said it. All female team. Oh girl. A lot of emotions. A lot of emotions. Very, Let's very just say that. Very, very it was very difficult. Who's when wrong I, and who's right? <laughs> She's gonna say I'm always right. <laughs> She said, well. Uh, if you guys are listening to this. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the boss? Who's the boss? Oh, that's my mom. So she always. It's always, uh, mom, you're the boss. Yeah. It's her All way right, or mom. the highway. It's, uh, she, she, you know, not always, but for the I'm most part, okay. we let people know that it's hers. Okay. Okay. She, we wow. take pride in letting it know. Okay. It's and, and I think that's beautiful because uh, I work for my dad. And it's the same thing. But. I don't know if you've got it, and it's excuse me if I like I stir up like a little bit of a pot, but oh, you're, that's your parents. Ah, oh, that's good. That's yours. Oh, you have it set. Don't mm -hmm. worry about it. And I'm like, no, that's not mine. Like I'm a part of it, and I get to help them grow it. But my dad built this, not me. He went through the blood, sweat, tears. He went through the good days and the bad days and the rainy days. But I just came in, and I'm trying to elevate it. But at the end of the day, it's said heaven. Yep. Like, I'm, oh, it's yours. Not mine, it's his. No. I'm building yeah. something of, of, of mine, but, hey, que Dios me dé licencia, I'll be there for him all the time. Yep. So, Hasta que el día que yo me muera, it will always be the store my mom created. It's something she created. She came to the house, had a meeting with us, and said, I want to buy a store. And I want you girls part of it. So forever for me, I feel like that will be her store. Wow. That's, and how was that conversation with her? Like, were you like, <laughs> Mom, what are you thinking? What's going on? Pasa, like, mama. have you guys ever, ever had a conversation like that before? In your uh, familia? See, si, yes. But it was just, at the time, I was fresh out of nursing school. Had just gotten my job. Um, well, it was actually my second nursing job. But it was it was. My sisters were excited. Um, I mean, they're just as hardworking and just as deserving of this because they've worked hard. And yeah. um, they were excited. I was like, Mom, I don't, I don't want this. Mm. I don't know if I want this. I don't know if I want to, you know, stop this and be a part of this. So but I try to do both. But was that because you worked hard for your career? Um. That, and I guess I just had some inner demons within me that was a little scared, you know, because it's scary. Yeah, it's it a is, whole new... It's starting your own business, I feel like it seems so easy, but it's so hard and so scary. Scary as fuck. Yeah. <laughs> you so might that, fail. 
You might get fired. Hey. You might get bought out. Yeah. Who, who knows? You never Man, know. Luckily, her mom was a boss, though. I don't think <laughs> she could have got him fired. Ooh. Hey, you. Hey. you it's risky fired. business. You just, like, it's, you never You never know. know. Nothing's promising. No. Aunque I tengas like, la estrategia, yeah. you just never know. If, if, you, if you have some sort of, like, self-respect and pride for, like, your parents, yeah. like, as much as, oh, your dad would never fire you, your mom would never fire you, it's just a matter of, like, when people look at you or meet you, it's like, am I doing the justice for my parents or am I just fucking this shit up? Because when, and honestly, un orgullo es cuando alguien viene y me dice, oh, es tu papá, es tu papá él? Oh, si, sí, es mi padre. No, es una verga tu papá. It's like, no, and then when they tell him, oh, tu hijo hace, es muy bien, I'm like, Perfect. It's nice. I'm doing yeah. my job. The kudos are always nice. Yes. Yeah. Because it is. I think you have a big name to like live up to. You have like to. something to live Happy up shoots. to. Like. Yeah. yeah. It, and it's tough. And uh, stirring pots because you keep saying it's your mom and your sisters. Yeah. Did you, sorry, with all respect, like was your father not present? Was he not around? Um, Actually, no. It's always been um, us, I say, mm, four or five with my grandma it's always been us females uh my dad was present but for this specific i guess part of our lives it's just been us we've made sure to kind of keep it within us nice. because we're very vocal very corajudas <laughs> so we've learned our lessons where we kind of like you know this is ours we can't include anybody else because as much as we argue we also understand each other very well mm. so if one's upset We'll calm down, and the other one be like, okay, let's give it, like, 20 minutes, and we'll talk again. Yeah. So it's been a learning experience, but it's just been us. Us, us females, literally Latinas, women-owned, and we're pushing through. We're getting there. So who's your That's demographic? Awesome. What do you mean demographic? Who's, like, your, who's your ideal audience? customer? Like, who are who's your, your audience? <gasps> Ooh. Yeah. I don't have one. I have customers that go for one time. One time, but a hey, one time and they buy the whole fit. <laughs> <laughs> but I have customers that come for years, and sometimes they just come be, just to support. They'll buy a sticker. My I demographic is equestrian, Western. I mean, I get I get everything, literally everything you can imagine. My demographic. We try not to exclude anybody. We don't like it. We don't want to. We want the store to be, you know, we want it to feel like a family. So, uh, demographic, I really do. Just it's everyone and said anyone. Everyone. 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 Everyone and anyone I that mean, we even sell dog shots, so dog vaccines. So, oh, I mean, do. I really yeah. do yeah. it. Yeah. Everybody. You, you'd go in and be like, why is he here? Oh, six dog vaccines, please. Ah. We got you. Say less. <laughs> mm-hmm. And you let them be. I mean, I get a little bit of everything. And. I mean, some customers have become my favorite. I mean, I don't have favorites, but customers come back and it's like, how are you? How I mean, are the kids? I mean, if there's like an employee discount every now and then, you know, kind of good. Ask my employees. Let, let, they'll let you know. <laughs> hiring or what? <laughs> I can't tell you. are hiring because Jack-Jack and I are looking for jobs. Hey, hey, hey. Let me know. We, we're busy the weekends, guys. <laughs> uh, we need weekends off. Sorry. And, and, I, and I think a, awesome. a big question because we have, I mean, two amazing females that are just doing it do you guys think it's hard to earn respect of men when in business or you fall into a situation and they want to talk to the man of the business or whoever's gonna respond and it's like no it's me do you think that's like that's a something you got to get over what do you think um como sea tu dilo como es it is difficult to handle someone, which is a lot of the times men, mm-hmm. who think that the new owner was a man. And so um, we do feel like we have to prove ourselves. It's mm. it's a store. It's a name that comes with so much history. And so with that, they expected someone, you know, man, that was going to take it over and make it something. And yeah. every time they ask for a manager, it's either us four. So, I mean, from one, two, three, four. But... I feel like, yes, it's really easy for people to come in and think, I want to speak to the new owner, the new owner. And then little little by little, you hear them, you know, oh. Little whispers. Yeah, they're all, they're Mexican. Oh, it's a woman. And so, you know, we. Like, they probably don't know what they're doing. Yeah. Yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. Mm. Like, the little whispers, like, 
at first, get yes. To you. Yeah. Because sometimes you're like, I'm trying. Like, I'm just trying, you know? And that's all that, that's all we can do. It's but like, then now I'm like, eh. Yeah. Vale. Yep. And some of our, um, we actually have one of our saddle repairs. Uh, his name's Galdino, guys. If you guys need any of your saddles, he <laughs> does great work. I love him. Um, he gets surprised every single time. He tells my mom that he raised us so well because um, to start the store, you know, my brother-in-law has a job. My mom's partner has a job. So it was just us because that's where we put our life to, mm-hmm. towards. And um, we lifted the heavy boxes. We put in the heavy dressing rooms. And he's like, you don't need help? I'm like, we're like, no. We don't need no man. Nah, no man. Don't need no man. That's it don't is a no blessing man, huh? and a curse. I'll tell you that much. <laughs> she said, sometimes it gets tiring. Yeah. It gets sometimes tiring. Sometimes I'm just tired of being over <laughs> there for myself. I get you, So girl. when do you enter your soft girl era? When I entered, I'll let you know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You know what? I think that comes with, like, you know, as a one-man band or, you know, mm-hmm. a full-on female team, you have to do the job of a man and a woman. Mm-hmm. But I think sometimes, like doing a man's job you can do it kind of in a feminine way yeah there's a way to get it done but you just got to do it in a more feminine way like do you get what i'm saying definitely you don't gotta, you know what you definitely gotta don't. Add Elaborate it. Oh, you, do, you, do, you do like i'm just gonna keep it simple like lifting the heavy boxes or whatever you know but there's a way to approach things in a feminine way but women will get shit done yeah like we'll get That's it right. done no matter what the job is, no matter what the task is. But you just got to add like a, a little, little razzle dazzle, a little, a little coquette a little or something. Coquette. And you guys might not, not understand because you guys are dudes. You, you know? literally just but pick like, it up and <laughs> literally and just, oh, just throw it. it. But there is a way. It pick it up and throw it. It's like it. all the Amazon okay, drivers. Instead of, driving, just, <laughs> instead of walking and setting it down, they definitely Imagine we pick, pick it up and we just lift the leg up. That's, yeah, that, like to put, it, to put it simple in simple terms, yeah, like that's you know, pretty much what we do. You know, you you gotta get what you gotta yeah. get done, but always always carry it in like a feminine way. Yeah. It can be done. It will be done. It will be done. Exactly. exactly. If you put if you give a woman a job, <laughs> it will it be literally done. Literally, just said we don't need no man <laughs> again. <laughs> you know what? You see, but then that's when that's when we get into that little, like, oh, let me take care of you, and it's like. No, well, I don't need you. Yo me dejo. It's, it's good. Yo sí. Yo sí me dejo. Pues cuídame. Me cuídame. Gracias. Pues está bien. Yo no peleo. Levanta but... la caja pesada. No la quería le voy a ir. But meanwhile, we have to get it yeah. done. We have to get it done either way. Not even the pencil. Ay, mis amigos. Ay, es que no puedo. <laughs> In a coquette I'm way, I'm shy. Huh? But, but you see, I'm sorry, but sometimes that's what girls say. Oh, I'm, I'm down to let a guy take over. But when a guy doesn't follow what they want it's different if the guy doesn't know what he wants and like doesn't know what he's doing entonces allí ya valimos like for what you're just gonna cause more so is there a difference between having a city boy or a country boy Mm, i wouldn't say so Mm -hmm. i would just say as long as a man is a man and can get it done in any way possible Mm. he can do it with his hands or he can hire somebody to do it it doesn't really matter as long as you get the job done that's the message we want Yes. You don't care how it gets done. I don't care just how get it, it gets done. Just get it done. Say you're going to do it. You can and do get it yourself. When I say I need it done now, I need, <laughs> need it, it done, done now. now. And I don't care how you do I mean, it. In our language, five minutes. Ahorita, <laughs> ahorita nunca llega. Y sabes que me voy a voltear. Just get it done. Just, just ya, hazlo. <laughs> haz lo que quieras, pero hazlo. <laughs> but, I mean, it is a plus that they can do it. Yeah, but <laughs> it is. And in a timely manner. And eh. in a timely manner, but just get the but, job done. No, honestly, like, I think that's that's very empowering. Your mom came with the idea of, I want to do this, came determined, and having her daughters just, like, back her up and say, we got your back, I'm down, let's do this, and it, it's a lot, and I'm sure it take, it it's a lot of weight also on your shoulders because when someone works very hard for something and then just to give it up, whether you regret it or not, you're just like, at one point, you're like, damn, like, I did all that, mm-hmm. and now I'm into this. Like, who would have thought... That my life would have turned out this way. It was a complete shock. Sometimes I still think like, I do I miss nursing? Do I miss it? On mm-hmm. it, like I ask myself those questions because on it, it was almost two years of just nursing school. Nursing school. If anyone's been uh, been to it, it's exhausting mentally, physically, time yeah. consuming. I mean, most of us were broke <laughs> when I was in nursing school. It was just full time. I'm still broke. It <laughs> and so. 
sometimes, you know, I, I kind of shock myself because I, I do think back and I'm like, I really own a store now? Like, this is what I'm doing? I know. I have a question for you. So, because going from LVN nursing to owning a business, like, what is it that, like, pushed you to say, okay, yes? Like, what did you guys want to see out of this mm. broken horn? Mm -hmm. Like, what did you want to... You guys have done a lot. But, like, what was your vision? Entre nosotras, tener algo pa, pa dar to our kids. You know, my kids' kids. My sister's kids. Something that... You know, where you know the the family that owned it before. You know, if anybody knows the Nuzo family, that's their last mm -hmm. name. Mm -hmm. They're always going to be known as the Nuzo family. They are the original owners of Broken Horn, and they did it with pride, with joy. And so, all we want is to carry that on and give something stable to our future. Mm. Let, let it live on for our future. I mean, there's my mom's always been. You know, I'll make sure everyone knows who's 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 their mom. All our middle names are Marisol. So all your guys' middle names? Because I know names. your middle name is Marisol. Marisol. Your whole We're family's all name. Marisoles. And that's my mom's first name. Oh, is it a that's thing cute. For like, us de Michoacán? Luis? Luis. Luis Marisol. Jose she was like, Luis. if they can't keep my last name, they will for sure have my middle name. Damn. Honestly, yeah. that's kind of clever. I like, I like it. it. I, I love never it. thought of that. Yep. So people call me Marisol, and I'm like, yes. <laughs> that means you were loved as as a kid to like have a middle name. My, I think people that don't have middle name. names were not loved. Ooh. Dang. We're not loved enough. Ooh, that's that's a, oh, dang. I don't know. <laughs> Some people <laughs> might be <laughs> hurt. <laughs> and if you got two last names, you were definitely loved. Dang. Uh, yeah. Wait. You don't have a middle name? Um, uh, mine's first and last name. Oh, that's you it. You weren't loved. No, I was the oldest child. I was the you first. Get on, she was loved. That's a Luis. Yeah, this is why we're, nice. we're cool. This you must be nice. Más o menos. All right, let's take the uh, this positive and just redo it. Vámonos. We're live. Are right, you guys good? You guys yeah. Yeah. No, yeah. sigue, sigue, sigue. We were talking about Jerry. Sigue, 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 sigue. We were talking about how TikTok has me stuck for hours watching TikTok. Jerry Springer. No, Jerry Springer. Uh, Jerry Springer okay. TikTok. Are you on it? No. Oh, well, you're no. about to be. You oh. should. It's about to go over <laughs> your feet. about to be. He is not the father. And then. <laughs> no, that's Maury. That's Maury. That's Maury. Maury. That's Maury. Don't get it twisted. Uh, Don't get it twisted. I got, I got my but old Maury was confused. good, too. <laughs> Look, child, the, childhood, the childhood TV shows were everything. Um, we had no business watching them, but they were everything. They, Ma they raised us. Kai, you raised me. <laughs> that ball little brat. Nah, I will say Maury did raise me. Maury. Uh, and that yeah. explains a lot. Jerry Springer <laughs> taught me not to have girls that are going to break me and lie to me. Even though, I, even though I still got lied to. Don't believe him. <laughs> Never worked Don't out. Don't believe him. <laughs> it all still happened, dog. I was about to, I was about to email him. Hey, I have, this is my situation. Can I come through? Dang. Jose Luis. Oh, Jose, Jose Luis. Is good. Jose Luis. Good. Oh. Tony, or Laura. 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 Que no, que salga el no, desgraciado. No, you know which still. Que salga desgraciado. <laughs> the one that still is rent free. Uh, damn, I forgot. Sábado it. gigante, guys. Don Francisco. That one, Dude, that, that was so cool. Shout out to San Francisco. Cristina. Cristina. They were legends. So Primer guys. impacto. It explains a lot, like, of, yeah. of yeah. how we are now. Wait, did, we didn't even ask. How old are you? Me? Yeah. Oh, no, no, la que está allá. No, hombre. A ver, a ver. Jack, Jack was about to answer. <laughs> well, <laughs> well. Me? Well. <laughs> I am 25. I'm going to be 26 are next month. Young, young. Entrepreneur? So a young entrepreneur. 26. Are you taken, married, engaged? I am, um... Mejor sola que mal acompañada. So right now, I'm good, guys. That's a, that's a quote of the day. That is that my quote of the day. Mejor sola que mal acompañada. Hijo de puta madre. No, me están chingando. Do you want to talk about something? Are you okay? Are you okay? Actually, I'm good. Are no? you okay? You're no. good? Oh. I'm good. No. no. I'm not okay. Where do we start? I'm not okay. okay. I'm going to need a bottle. I'm going to need a bottle. I don't know about Shout the out. cut water. Shout out to the cut water. Cut water. They really, really want to know. know how we really are. Hey. That's crazy. I, I want to know who hurt who. Who hasn't? Who hasn't? Oh. I want to see. That's a better question. You know, when, when people when people come into your life and stay away for like a whole year, 
They only take you out to eat one time and then they don't hit you up. You talking about year? something. Okay, we're They don't even take me out. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't even take me to Broken Horn. That's fucking Dang, sad. That's crazy. That's sad. Take me to Broken Horn so I know it's real. Mm-hmm. Oh. You if guys you wanted to, they would, huh? And they don't want to. And everybody seems to be kind of in their cowboy era right now. Yes, so it's I in. don't know. Is it? Is it? Yeehaw, motherfucker. I, I say so. You and say I'm so? living for it. I mean, you have your own brand. Oh. Yes. So of course yep, you say so. Yeah. Well, I mean. Shop Segura? Oh, well. I mean, hey. But she gets it because it's kind of the same. I mean, it's the same but different. It's been our life. It's a lifestyle. This is a competition. Oh, no, 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 no. no. What is it like? What is it like, I guess, having your friend or acquaintance? I don't know what y'all are. Are y'all friends or acquaintances? We're friends. We go back. What is it like having your friend have a similar business as yours? It's never similar. We're not not the same people. There's enough room for everybody exactly. that's what i feel like is so beautiful about this country is you literally there's room for everybody what i don't have she has exactly what she doesn't have i, I have with, with with every different yeah. western store or every like western brand like you look at it it looks very similar but it's not it's very very different, different. um you know, different demographics. Just everything's different. And it's nice. And it's, it's nice, nice to have see. options. And it's yes. nice to see someone else, Latina, female, oh. doing it. Like, uh, there's confidence. no Confidence. It's mandatory. Mandatory. In a, in a person. But, like, I know, guys, we get away with it. We're in black. We look good. <laughs> I'm just saying. I have I'm more black saying. shirts. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> but need to excel. For, uh, I have them. I know for, for, for females, for women, you know, sometimes their self, the way they look, the way they look at themselves, sometimes they're not that comfortable. Sometimes in in the Western wear, yeah, it you know, be a you lot. know, just like guys, just like guys, but girls, you, coming from you guys, what's that like? What can you tell these girls that are kind of hesitant on wearing certain styles because they just don't love who they are or like how they look? I'll let you handle that one. <laughs> you know what? I think it's true because with Western wear, I don't. It's it can be kind of tricky. a little nerve wracking and tricky for people who aren't used to it. But honestly, like if it makes you feel good, if you feel some type of way when you put it on, just wear it. And I will say, yes. you do not have to live a certain lifestyle to dress a certain way. Yes, and you so don't you f- have to dress a certain way to be part of a lifestyle. Exactly. If you want to wear the cowboy hat. Wear the cowboy hat. Yes. Like I promise you, it is not that serious. You your hat and tomorrow. if you feel like wearing it, <laughs> wear it. Like, yeah. Well, te- wear what makes you feel beautiful, good, handsome, amazing. Literally. Yep. That's like. That's what it's all about. To be honest. You look handsome, brother. Way. You look handsome. Dandy hats. <laughs> I want a free hat next time, my boy. <laughs> He's I'm a sponsor, my boy. I bought this shit. <laughs> Full price. Full price. Full price. Full hey, tag. Does, does I was shocked at that price tag though. Not even gonna lie. Hey. But it it's just it's just like anything else. Like the price tag, you won't look at it because you're buying into the brand. You're buying into you know what you've seen over over the ages, Shop Segura. Like You've built, you're building something from the ground up. Literally. Yes. And right now you're yes. on the grind. Yes. And right I'm now grinding. it's like, uh, I got no up option but to go forward. Exactly. Because if I stop now, then I lose everything. No, ya vamos más para allá que para acá. Like we've already tamari. put so much work and we've already put so much time. People already know about it. Like you there's no rolling. stopping now. Keep yeah. going. You just got to keep people going. People don't understand like this is a part of us. Yes. Yep. Like if you, if you build a brand from the ground up, and now you have one to two to three years. Imagine if you stop doing what you're doing and then someone comes up to you and asks you, hey, didn't you have X thing? Oh, yeah. What happened? Imagine you say, I fucking exactly. quit. Exactly. No, you just got to keep Instantly going. Instantly crying. <laughs> Literally. So what's the hardest part of being a, of being a business owner? Mm. Keep go- keeping, keeping it rolling. Keep, mm-hmm. You got to keep going. And sometimes you're like, Sometimes you don't feel like it. Uh, yeah, you You're have to tired. get up and be like, I gotta still, <laughs> I still have to open, I still have to. And then sometimes post. you don't even see like, you, you like the the outcome of everything. You're doing, you're doing, you're doing, and you're like, oh my god, something's gotta give. And then until finally, you're like, okay, but there's yeah. a lot of times that I think you're really uncertain. Always, How I feel you? like it's, 
it's hard. It's tricky. You don't ever, you never, you never know how it's going to go. You have a team, right? So how is that, I guess, working with your family and your sisters as opposed to maybe you doing it by yourself? Mm. Because you don't have anybody that can help you in a sense if you're like, I don't feel like doing it. As opposed to you, you can be like, I'm not going into work today. Oh, absolutely not. I cannot. (laughs) (laughs) They don't let me. They don't. Honestly, we feel bad. So we don't do that. Y'all don't do that. Nope. If I'm, if we're scheduled to work that day, we go work. Unless, you know, I've been super sick, I'll stay home. But even then, like. You're still working from home. We still always. I think a big question, and I know a lot of everybody that's watching can, like, take from this. Is it hard to trust people to come and help uplift your business even more? Yes. You, I think you could answer that because yes. I'm a one man band. Like everything, but I even do, like for but yourself, because you, to, to allow someone, someone, yeah, to allow it's someone hard. to come in, because they might not have the same passion for it that you same, have, yeah, the mm. same touch. Or think the way of you, it the way, like you know, you you just sometimes, yeah. as much as you want to see the good in people, you just never know if they're the right person for this. You know, I think of it as a family. Our employees were very, we you know. It's like a, you walk into my store and we're probably yelling at each other, <laughs> talking about something. Across, hey, I need a customer help here. Like, here, have this. So it's it's very, like, close-knit. Yeah. So it's tricky because I don't want to bring someone that's going to mess up that balance, mm. you know? So it is hard. So I can't imagine being by yourself, handling all that. Like, the, the thought of just bringing someone in and you're like, oh, I got to tell you. You what I want it to be. I will have to tell you what my vision is. And sometimes it's so hard to take that vision and actually put it on a piece of paper or even yeah. draw it up for somebody because it's here. Yeah. It's always here. I think it's it's very hard to explain to someone the type of love you have for something. Yes. Or for someone. Because sometimes only you can understand that type of love. And to teach someone to love something just the way you love it, it's kind of impossible. You have to build that relationship. You have to build that type of care, that love, because I think in order to build that, you got to go through it. You got to go through the time. You have to put in time, in, out, from the good to the bad, to the sunny days, to the rainy days. But if you don't go through all those good and bad times, well, you have no attachment to it. Mm -hmm. That means if this shit leaves, oh, well, it is what it is. Mm -hmm. Está bien. But if, si realmente tú amas a esa, a esa cosa o a esa persona, it's like, nah, I can't. I've gone through way too much for this. I got to keep going. Yeah. I got to keep on going. Which brings me to a question, because as you're managing, like, a team, mm-hmm. I'm assuming, like, no matter how hard you try to explain something to something, like, someone, sometimes they don't get it. Is there something that you've learned along the way the last three years in business that you're, like, Wow, I I didn't expect mm, this there you go. to come from owning a business. Patience. If mm. I thought I had patience with my patience when I was a nurse, <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm young. I'm really, really young. So I feel like sometimes I battled with, I don't want them to feel like I'm demeaning them right. as a person because they've lived more than I. Of course, they're more knowledgeable. Well, sometimes they have great ideas. So patience, It's it's understanding that, I have to understand that not everyone's going to know what I'm thinking, what I'm yeah. saying, and what's kind of, you know, not everybody's into social media. Not everybody's yeah. into what's good and what's new and what's fashion and what's not. Yeah, so it's it's been adjusting and learning how to talk to the person I'm talking to. So everyone in the business or my employees we have a different type of way of communicating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Sometimes, you know, it's not always going to be, you know, happy faces and smiles. But for the most part, we do our best to make sure, you know, we include them wherever we can. Hey, what do you think about this? Right. We're just starting. Sometimes I need that little help. Let me see your idea. Yeah. What if your idea works better than mine? So it's just knowing that I have to be patient and kind of hear them out. Because at the end of the day, they might actually even have a greater, better idea than me. This is so. true. True. So then what do you think has been, like, the hardest thing about Um, running? Like, one of the biggest challenges. Making it. It's been really hard. Knowing why today I didn't have a good day. Was it something that we we don't have at the store? 
I feel like it's really easy to kind of get in our own heads and be like, why didn't, why aren't we doing good? What are we missing? Why is this not doing good? Why am I not having good days? Why is this mm -hmm. month so bad? It's really hard to understand that it's just today, just no one wanted to shop. Yeah. Today, just not everybody found what they were looking for. Doesn't mm -hmm. mean that there's something wrong with my store. It just means it wasn't what they were looking for at that moment. So it, I guess it's really hard because we argue within ourselves. And I feel like we can all see it. I mean, my sisters, my mom, you know, when we, how was the day? Yeah. Oh, I wonder why it was slow. Yeah. What can we do? Mm -hmm. Mija, my mom, Mija, I need you to do more on social media. Mija, we need to boost something. Mija. So it's, it's, that's the hardest part is yeah. knowing why we aren't doing good when we aren't doing good. Because when we're doing good, we're like, oh, yeah, we had a great weekend, guys. Good job. Let's go home. It's Everyone perfect, nap. Yeah. We're tired. Yeah. <laughs> and when it's not, it's it's really hard. Mentally, yeah. I feel like it's always a battle because you never know if you're doing the you're doing it right or if what you're doing is. Or if what you do today will work tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. You know, we're always changing the store, guys. I'm proud today. <laughs> change the store so much. <laughs> and so it's you're always changing, you know, trying to find new ways to yeah. catch someone's attention. And it's just. It's always, it's a mental battle. I feel like that's mm -hmm. the hardest part is that mental battle where you're like, what the heck? Where's yeah. everybody? And then burnout. Yeah. Oof. Burnout is real, guys. That shit's real as fuck. That shit is real. real. Yep. My <laughs> sister makes sure we get two days off, guys. <laughs> We're pushing for three, Good. mom. Good. Please. But, it, but even like in your days off, I think you're, when you're in business and or when you're into a passion, your mind runs. Always. So your day off isn't a day off. It's how can I better what I'm doing right now that when I go back in, we're gone. I know what to do. Yeah. Yep. That's always in my head, too. Do you keep, like, a notepad or something of, like, ideas? My mom's been anything? pushing me to keep a notepad, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I Organization, I know, is mandatory, but <laughs> God <laughs> damn, we have to. <laughs> no, no, my How miss. important is social media for your business, in particular? Um, super important. For the magnitude we want it to get to, for the goal we eventually want it to be, which is yeah. to have multiple broken hearts. Oh. Not just one, multiple. Hopefully, you know, si Dios quiere. Yeah. Always got to say that. You know, social media is, is what's in right now. It's it's what's at, you know, everyone's on social media. Everybody has a phone. My form. abuelo, yeah. my tia, the tios, everybody's on social media. Yeah. The tios. And mm -hmm. so it's super important, but that has been my personally my hardest uh task yeah um if you guys follow us on my page on our page i'm the model the the face that's what you know yeah. what we like to call me now but um <laughs> which is good and 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 the reason why i'll tell you why is because social media is so fast and they need someone to fall in love with to fall in love with the brand or what they represent so if you have a brand, and I like whether I like the way you look or I like the way you talk or the way you carry yourself, I'm going to buy into whatever she's selling. And we've, and again, we have people that we've taken very much notes from. It's like, hey, it's cool to have a business. It's dope. But who runs it? Mm -hmm. Who's behind it? Is that person good? Is that person, is he authentic? Is he real t down to earth? Is he honest? Is he loyal? What, who is he and who is she? Who is she? Yep. Do once, they even wear botas? When, and once they find out, it's like, all right, where? Where am yep. I going? Where am I buying? What am I buying? Who am I buying it for? And what do I represent? So I know when I when I buy pants, a shirt, a tejana from your store, I'm representing the store that the I bought store. it from. Yep. You're yeah. representing our store now. Yeah. And very good kudos, though, because it has been your post, actually, that have inspired me to be more out there with mine. Because, me? yes, you. <laughs> no. I was like, wait, wait, wait. It has been. Post that silly little Post video, silly motherfucker. Video, it motherfucker. has <laughs> been because, to be very honest, throwing yourself out there is scary. It mm. is. And seeing someone who, I mean, I've known you for years. It doesn't yes. get easier, though. No, but no. it's nice to see someone put herself out there. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Where it's like, Okay, I can do this. Yeah. I can do this. I was a reina. Once a reina, always a reina. It's always good to see yourself like 
in somebody else out there. Yeah, and it's yeah. like, it's amazing. It and it's so, that's been my hardest challenge because, you know, social media is a little scary. It is. You got to throw yourself out there. I mean, I already had to throw myself into a store, you know, family-wise, which is amazing, and I love yeah. it. No regrets there. But social media is just like a different type of, you know, ocean I got to dip sure. into. And I'm like, ooh, the pescados. <laughs> Los tiburones. <laughs> Los tiburones. <laughs> I mean, you know, so it, it does scare me a little bit. What the fuck was that? We did the same thing. What the fuck was that? <laughs> how do you choose what to post, though? Um, I actually do work with someone that has been helping me okay. with my social media. And okay. so he's kind of been... Um, his name is Chris. He's been super, super, like, patient with me. So I let him know what I'm comfortable with. Okay. And so little by little, if you guys go all the way back to my first pictures, my confidence has boosted because I've been more comfortable. And I've finally learned how to kind of style myself where I feel Good. beautiful. Yeah. Where sometimes some of the clothes we get, I'm like, I don't know who that fits, but does not fit me. Mm. I won't put pictures in it. Yeah. I'll find maybe, you know, a cousin, a friend to put to put it on for me because I'm okay. like, I'm going to take a picture. It's not going to be authentic, guys. I'm yeah, sucking it in. It. I'm like, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. it's not comfortable. So I make sure that whatever we post, it's something I like. Of course. And yeah. so he actually doesn't send me any sneak peeks. He'll send them to me like sometimes when he's going to post. But for the most part, I let him choose the best ones. He knows yeah. kind of how I work, what I like, what I don't like. So it's been really good to have someone that works with me. Yeah. And kind of helps me be confident because I'm so comfortable with with working with him. Of course, so it's super important. It, yeah, yeah, it's that it's that comfort where like he's like you you got this. How'd you find that person? Oh, oh, sorry. It's because like don't get me wrong. Like having someone to like do it for you, it, it, kudos. Like it's dope finding somebody. But I always believe maybe people can agree disagree. You got to be comfortable with yourself. Meaning, oh, like, when when you get all the files, Jose, amazing motherfucker that we have on this team that takes <laughs> all the good photos, makes it look skinny, you know? He takes some good-ass pictures. He takes some good-ass photos. Does. But at the same time, he'll edit some of the craziest pictures. I'll be like, my boy. Yeah, like, he, he, my boy. But you know what? It's so true no, 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 no. So, like, Why'd you waste time editing that so one? Like, you should have edited this yeah. one. The like, confidence my question screams on, to the yeah, camera. Yeah, like, so to like, my question on that one, it's like, if you get your photos and you get to choose, like, I love that person in that camera or in that photo. Yeah. Like, my question, what I'm trying to get to is, how do you get into self-love? To loving who who you are, how you look, how you carry yourself, that confidence of, like, and I've said this many times before, when I talk about myself and when I post, like, I don't give a fuck what you say about me, what you think about me. Whatever you think, whatever it is, I already said it. I'm good. <laughs> whatever comment you got, do it. It's good for my algorithm. But honestly, me vale verga. Period. I'm not that hard Period. to find. <laughs> yeah, like, so my thing is, like. Where do I find myself? self-love? you, like, self-love, what does that mean to you? And how do you find it? And if you have it, how would you get there? Honestly, when I first started the social media and when I took over, I was taking the pictures. It was me and my nice. little cousin taking the pictures. So we would be very picky. But I noticed nice. that the more I had to choose my pictures, the more I was putting myself down. Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Mira, se ve esto así. No me gusto como se ve esto. When I have um, Chris actually take the pictures and just post them, I'm like, oh, damn. I didn't know it was going to come out that nice. That's true. You're and so the more comfortable I get in front of the camera, the more beautiful I feel. In the outfits, if I'm in an outfit that I feel absolutely like I, I will wear this I don't have anywhere to go, but anyone want to take me somewhere, I'll wear it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, kind of type of outfits. I'm like, oh, I look good. She said, I'm taking the long way and home. I, and I'll go and I'll, go, and I'll be like, mom, case. mom, eat up, eat up. Shut shit right now. Yeah, yeah. real quick, guys. I'm, <laughs> I'm going anywhere. Good tonight. Anybody want to take me out? I purposely won't take pictures because I'm like, no, I want to wear this outfit yeah. one day. So never mind. If you post it, yeah, well, yeah. <laughs> never yeah, mind. No, fuck yeah. So I found it within. I feel like nice. the more I have to put myself out there, and, you know, get uncomfortable the more I love myself because it's not just how I look. I feel like I'm always going to have, you know, I no me gusta esto. No me gusta como se me ve esto. But within myself because I'm yeah. so proud of myself because nice. putting myself out there is not easy. Yeah. You know, we, we've been so close-knit, so it's very nice. easy to stay there because it's safe. Yeah. 
And so now that I'm, you know, talking in my videos <laughs> nice. and, yep. you know, being more open with the outfits and, you know, posing differently and all this, it helps me boost myself. And I feel like that's where I found self-love is knowing that when I have to, I'll do it and yeah. I'll do it correctly and I'll do it because I love what I'm doing and I love what it stands for. What would you tell the high school you? That girl that was in high school, Ooh. you know, and I'm just assuming maybe not as confident as you are now because I say you just got comfortable with the whole social media. So what do you tell that young 15 year old you standing where you are now? Honestly, I felt like I was maybe confident a little bit when I was in high school. It was like that naive confidence. I don't know if that yeah. makes any sense. Yeah, yeah. But I would tell myself that you're going to be okay. And you're going to do things that you would have never imagined. And you're going to be just as badass as you were. Yep. So she's, she's had it. So she's had it. I think I that it's, it's, it's the way you portray, the way you, the way you talk, the way you walk. Like that's what's really important. And that's the difference maker in a lot of things right now. Your business, your social media, and the way people respect you. Like I could come in and be like, no, nah, I'm not going to respect this person. But then the way you carry yourself, it's like, no. It's not that I, I don't want to respect her. She's going to make me respect her. And if I don't like it, pues ahí está la puerta. Exactly. Kill them with kindness, guys. Kill them with Biggest kindness. lesson working with customers. Mm, it, it, kill them with kindness. I'm going to get back at you. What you talking about? <laughs> you know what? Like, and this is why. Yeah. <laughs> and this is why. And this is why. It's because so, sometimes it, it's okay to, to reply to those negative comments like we have. Like, Hey, we're not for you, and it's definitely okay. It's 100% okay. But just come and try. All you got to do is either listen to us, either come and wear what we what we use, what we sell, or just, just come from a, a better position. Like, I don't know if you're coming from a dark spot, a dark place. It's okay. Like, mañana sigue. Mañana sigue. <laughs> Yeah, I think we can. I think Jose, we had like five minutes. So, saludos a todos mis compas. Sorry, we were talking. Para mis amigos de Facebook, ahí saludos. Ahí saludos. Ahí saludos. Al Facebook. Hey, tell me not. Our parents, I know my dad, bro. Facebook is fucking golden. Ba Facebook? Aquí, aquí estoy con mi hijo cenando, almorzando. And I'm like, all I'm saying is the content from Facebook to Instagram to TikTok is all different, okay? It's all different. It Facebook is, is less oh, Facebook. No, have you guys been on, like, Facebook videos? A yeah. uh, little uh, secret of mine. <laughs> I watch them a lot. They're funnier sometimes than TikTok. <laughs> no way. Yeah. I've seen a few. I've yeah, seen a few. They're funny. Like, I watch, like, cops pulling people over and i'm there for like 30 minutes right there just scrolling through like 10 different cops pulling people <laughs> over people following afv that used to be my favorite oh America's my god america's funny, funny some videos yes that's my favorite what is it ah. Ah. <laughs> 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 all right so because it, it's it's been a great podcast like i want to I want, I want to tell you right now i know you were nervous about this <laughs> I was. and and i get it like sometimes for this podcast it is it is kind of nerve-wracking but it, it's been amazing i want to know very say it how it is what do your sisters mean to you <gasps> oh that made me cry on the oh podcast my God. For this shit. Um, I, uh, you guys, my sisters drive me crazy. Let's just start out that off. But they are forever, like, they're just amazing, dude. Like, I love my sisters so much. Um, I'm sometimes an asshole. <laughs> I'm the youngest, so, you know, they me, me ganan the eight, eight and ten so years. Right. Bro, I'm, I'm the youngest. She's like, herself. I'm a little bit of a brat. It's okay if I'm a brat because I'm a baby. Yeah, so, you Jackie? know, it's normal. I don't know. <laughs> they deal with me, but they are, you know, if my mom can't be there for any reason, yeah. I have them forever. Like, they're my rock between my sisters. Yeah. I absolutely love them entirely. They mean wow. the world to me, and sometimes maybe I don't tell them. They're not for the sappy, you know, I love you. They'll be like, why are you being weird? <laughs> <laughs> and they'll be like, why did you say that? Because it's yeah. true. But uh, I really do 
I'm blessed. Like, honestly, I couldn't have had better sisters than the ones I have. Even though they drive me crazy, I, I'll i do anything for them. I love them very much. Very, very much. See, that was a good warm-up because now the question is, your mom is an amazing mom. Uh, my mom is great. Guys, What's my mom. What's the message that you haven't given your mom? That you'd like to give your mom. They love to do this. They do, huh? <laughs> they love to do this. I tell my mom everything, guys, so it's okay. <laughs> is there something you haven't told your mom that you wish mm. you could tell her or you want to tell her? Is, does that, your mom stay awake late? Absolutely not. Oh, never mind. But, oh, she's awake right now because <laughs> she knows I'm here. Oh, that's great. A mess. No, no, wait, 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 wait. Ay, Diosito whoa, 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 whoa. Ay, ya empezaste. Ya destapaste <laughs> algo. <laughs> Look. Because my thing, and we talked, to, we did this last time when Jack Jack was here. That's right. Is I explained that, you know, when we tell our parents how much we love them and appreciate them and thank them, sometimes because they never got that from their parents, sometimes they don't know how to react to it because they never heard it enough. Whether we say it now, like, hey, mom, I love you. Hey, dad, I love you. Thank you. Oh, okay. Gracias, mijo. I love you too. Mm -hmm. But to tell them, like a heartfelt like hey i love you mm -hmm. sometimes they don't know how to take it randomly mm -hmm. because like i i love even like when my guys my friends like april like thank you for everything you've done like i love you and it's like oh wait it's like ah, it's just it's on my heart right now like i gotta tell you imagine you tell your parents or how you said your sisters okay verga <laughs> you guys, every time before I hang up a phone, I say I love you. Oh, I do too. And I if too. my sisters hang up and they don't tell me I love you, I call back. So, what is <laughs> so, I don't know what yeah. You're going to tell me today. No, and they'll answer and be like, okay, love you. And I'm like, thank you, love you too, bye. So, would it be too much if you were to call your mom and you were to tell her how thankful you are for her? No. She would. I tell my mom that I love her a lot. What I would tell her is, no, I would. What? Oh, what? No, 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 uh, no, 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 no. You're not, not, not what you would tell her. What you're gonna, <laughs> what tell, you're gonna, what gonna tell, tell her. What you're gonna tell her. Gonna tell Which her. means, like, wait, can you call her? Uh, my phone's over oh, there. Oh, it's okay. We can get your phone. Oh, we can get your phone. Okay. Oh, we'll make it happen. You know what? We'll make it happen. You know what? Production. Production, production please. Can we get production, the phone? can we get the phone, please? <laughs> Instead of the sorry, buzz ball, can we get the phone? Thank you so much. Oh, my goodness. Let's see if she answers. That production to be productive. Hey, but you just tell her, hey, I just wanted to tell you, and then you just really, give her a message. You said you were going to say something. Yeah, yeah. I did, but I guess I'll, I actually wish my mom, I can give my mom a better life than the one she's had to have. Mm. Mm. Always. Give her this heart message. Oh, I, know, you know. I know. I know you need it. I know she needs it. <sighs> oh, you guys, my mom's gotta, funny. You put it like on the... My mom's funny, though. Sometimes it's I don't okay. know. Vamos a ver. Vamos a, 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 a ver qué dice. What's your mom's name? Marisol. Marisol, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what if she's asleep? <gasps> you said I'm the most important person in all their lives. Oh, you know what? I might have to call Beto. Let me see. Call Beto. Call Beto. Call Beto Llamala right Beto. now. Llamala Beto. Is Beto. 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 Beto, Mira, contesta, Beto. por favor, it's Beto. Ya es hora. No es que yo la abrí. Beto will answer? It's been time. Yeah, my mom does never answer the phone. <laughs> my emergency. Okay, he's answering. he's answering. He's oh answering. Hi, mom. <laughs> I'm still here. Ida. Oh, hi. <laughs> hi. Hi. No te pueden ver, mom. No te preocupes. Oh, okay. Mom. Mm. <laughs> Yeah. I love you. <laughs> Nothing. I love you and I'm so thankful for you. I love you too, Mama. You know that. And I wish I could give you a better life than the one you've had. Oh, you are. We are going to have a better life, Mama. We are, Mom. 100%. Ahí vamos. Yeah. Okay. Yes, we are, Mama. Porque estás you despierta. Know I'm a I'm a true believer that we're doing good. Because we do good, we're going to do good. Uh, yes, mom. Si Dios quiere. Mm-hmm. I'm going to Dios. ¿Qué pasó, mija? ¿Cómo te fue? Bien, aquí estoy todavía, mom, grabando. I just wanted to call and tell you that. Okay, chula. You'll well, see it in the podcast, mom. I'm sharing for you. I told Luz que no me mandaste nada, but she said it's going to be recorded. I can see it later. Yes, you can see it as many times as you want. 
Okay, Mama, go kick some ass. Okay, love you. I love you too. Bye. Bye. There we go, guys. That is. Oh that my, is my God! Mom. You're crying, bro. You're crying. <laughs> I was like, what? <laughs> Que no. <laughs> que no. Hey, Jack uh, llorando. Honestly, I thought that zoom was in so because Jack died crying. sweet. No, you know what part got me was that when you were like, oh, I wish I could give you a better life. And she was like, no, we're going to have a better life. Yeah. Like, I was like, oh, my God, you guys are so on board. My like, mom that is, is so We're really sweet. close. <laughs> yeah, we're That's really, so really close. That's so sweet. Yeah. That's like, you, like about, you guys though. sound very, like, you guys are each other's support system. Like, yeah. Yeah. ella sin ti no puede y tu Sin ella no puedes. Like. No, that's why we all work at the store. It's just always going to be that way, I feel like. It's always been that way since I was small, since I could remember. Uh, it's always been just us. She uh, sounds like a really good mom. She's amazing. She's amazing. No, yeah, I, I love amazing. her. I, I like her energy transmits from the phone. <laughs> 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 she don't so play. Question. If the store were to go away tomorrow, what would you do next? Figure out a way to open another one. Dang. My yeah. mom no se va a quedar sin algo. That's the fucking mentality you That's the have. mentality yeah. that That's the mentality. Have. It's okay. We'll a lot of people out would a way. give up. No. Nah. But you guys, what keeps you moving? If you guys bring my mom onto this podcast, she is a lot more interesting. This She's lady, away. She has been through so much that the store closing. All right, let's just go over this hurdle too. We got this. She, she said, said no pasa nada. No, no store. pasa nada. No we'll be nada. okay. We got each other. That's all that matters. Broken horn who? Ah, no, no, no. Broken horn, guys. <laughs> El cuerno quebrado. El cuerno quebrado. quebrado. No, 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 no. Seven days a week, guys. Every day. Seven days a week. You already know. <laughs> wow. Crazy. Yeah. Jack, Jack, you want to call your mom again? <laughs> Try it out? She asleep. No. I already got my feelings hurt once, okay? I don't need them hurt again. <laughs> <laughs> Say, mi mamá está dormida, güey. No. Está dormida. Mi mamá ahorita. ¿Qué ¿Qué está no. Yeah. no, honestly, ¿Qué the last time I, the last time I called my mom, midnight or even, I think it was like one o'clock. I was like, hey, mom, um, I accidentally ordered Jack in the Box to the house. It wasn't, bitch. It was um, that time. No, no. You were drunk as shit, and you're like, definitely hey, not. How I do ordered, I get home? Definitely <laughs> not, because I ordered. The whoever brings the food here knows the house. And then I checked. I was like, dude, it's been half an hour, 45 minutes. Where the fuck is the food? I checked. They delivered the food to my mom's house. I was like, hey, mom. She's like, ¿Qué, qué es Eduardo? <laughs> As I looked, I ordered a munchie meal. <laughs> There's a spicy chicken, two tacos, was it a breed? curly oh, fries, dad. DoorDash. DoorDash. And, Yo, lim- this motherfucker and a, a lemonade. Meal. And a lemonade. It's like, it's sitting right outside. I'm not going to go get it. Ah oh, shit! Did she go get it? Fuck no! I went there the next day. That shit was still outside. <laughs> she I said, I, go. Go. I She said, put it, the it, and and I go. But I know if, like, if I call my mom, she's like, "Qué quieres? Are you drinking? Are you okay?" Of course. Yes, I'm home. Ya para de tomar. Fuck. What do you want me to do? But she did say, "When you drink, think of me, Mama." Cheers. Cheers. Salud, mom. Salud. A toast to life. A toast. So I told you right before this last part, you had to think of a quote. Did you get one? Did you think of one? <laughs> did the juices flow? The juices did not flow, guys. <laughs> <laughs> she said, I'm sorry. Right. All right, so, my, so my better question to you, then, since you don't have one, and it, it's definitely it's okay. One to ten, how is your mental, your emotional, and your physical? One being, I'm done, I'm ready to quit. Ten being perfect. You want it just for today? I, I can give you just for today. Just, we'll <laughs> just take it day today. by day. We'll take it day Mental, by day. Honestly, today, lately, a solid eight, nine. Honestly, I have a great support system. If it's not my mom, my sisters, it's my best friend, my comadre. Mm. I have great support system, right. friends and family. Physical, guys, I hit the gym. I'm back. So, Period. you know, a good solid she seven right healthy. now. Oh, no, I'm not going to show you guys. Ah. It's too much for the camera. Hey, no, Next we'll summer. get arrested for showing those guns. <laughs> don't do this. Don't do this. We don't got no license. <laughs> but, yeah, solid eight getting there. I'm, I love the gym, so it's an eight because I enjoy it. it. And anything else? Emotional? 
<laughs> I'm emotional, guys. <laughs> so I you and I'm a cancer. I'm sorry. <laughs> but what does that mean? What the fuck does that mean? Oh, we talk about it. <laughs> no, no, no. Bullshit mm-hmm. aside, I, you said it's a Leo thing, and I'm like, what the I live fuck a very, is it a Leo I'm thing? I'm a Leo. You said uh, that's it's a Leo can. thing. Like like Bremen Bremen Rock. Rock. Bremen Rock's a Leo. Yes. He Pro is peels. my spirit animal. Ooh. Capricorn. <gasps> oh, that's good. That's good. <laughs> Capricorn, no. Wait, mean, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I mean, Hold up. Why is the Capricorn no good? You guys are a little, you know, a little mean. Nah, we're You guys definitely honest. take the bull by the horns. You, literally, you, like, you just cut the horns. Yeah, we don't Yeehaw. put them in the horns. You just cut the horns and, you know, Yeehaw. stick them on the horn. Yeehaw. Let's go. I'm going to have to go. I want that thing. I'm going to you started this, Pepe. You started oh. this, you finish it. All right, Leo. It's a Leo thing. It's a Leo thing. It's a Capricorn thing. God, I can't. Oh, it's a Leo thing. <laughs> no, hey, I think for the first time we have on camera Jack Jack crying. I didn't cry. Yeah, you stop. Yo no sta- y sabes por qué, yo, por qué se me hicieron Mira, wey, llorosos wey. los ojos porque te vi a ti y dije, no, este güey ya va a llorar. It's Please. allergies, huh? It's the allergies. It's <laughs> que this fucking summer season weather, summer bullshit. Some bullshit. In it. Hey, right now we're in the country. The weather out here is pretty We're in the good. middle of fucking fun talking, my boy. <laughs> <laughs> Country. Oh yeah, country. We're in the 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 country. We're in are new to watching you and getting to know you after this episode. Where can they find the store, social media, city, where we're at? Alrighty, the store is located in Bowen Park. Broken Horn, that's what you'll see. My picture's everywhere, so you'll see them outside the windows, guys. Right in the center of Baldwin Park. It's really cool. Yeah. Street Market gets there. I mean, it's it's a good location for our first First starter location on uh, social media. We're at Broken Horn. Let me actually check, guys, because goodness <laughs> gracious. <laughs> That's she a little embarrassing, but let me double check. She said, actually. Oh, yeah, we're at Broken Horn Saddledry, guys. Saddledry is S A D D L E R Y, just in case. And we are on TikTok, too, guys. Oh. Ooh. El TikTok. El TikTok. TikTok is hard though. TikTok is a bitch. Like TikTok, TikTok is so confusing, but it's TikTok. but it's at broken dot horn. Um, and we're also on Facebook, Broken Horn. You guys can find us, um, so you guys can see what's new in, and any discounts deals that we may have. We also have an online store, www.brokenhorn.com. Yeah. And yeah, that's where you'll find my face every- everywhere. Yeah, yep. that everywhere. is where you'll find that two XL. Yes, oh. guys, I do have big boy sizes. I'm not big kidding. Big back. You got big back sizes. <laughs> <laughs> big back sizes. You said big back. Big I back. I said big boy sizes. <laughs> Let me big clarify. Back, big back. Look, Whatever big, big you back, have, big I back. have. Look, we're guys. putting it on camera now. The next video we do is going with Pepe. <laughs> To the store, and we're gonna get a whole ass outfit. Hold up, I'm gonna send you my sizes before I guess. <laughs> I will have them, I will have a rounded that. dress with your clothes. No, you know what? I'm not gonna be up. Hey, wait, wait. No, to, to, I'm not about to embarrass myself. To make like, it fuck. to make it better, we're gonna have Jack Jack choose out the fucking outfit. Ooh, Ooh. say less. Even, Jack, even Jack, Jose, no, no, no. Even Jack Jose. Jack is gonna pick my fit? Yes. Are we gonna pick Olandia after though? And Jack Jack, we trust. No, are we gonna pick we'll Olandia go after? We'll go to Pico, nos vamos we're gonna pick Olandia. Say less. Say less. Say and you're going to show up fitted yeah. to the nines. You know, all all I'm going to say is, some friends called Pero Anoche said they were going to take me to Picolandia, and they haven't delivered. It's okay. Aquí so. no fallamos. Aquí se hace porque se hace. No, 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 no. That was before. They said they were going to pick out a fit for me. We got fucking drunk. No, they said they were going to pick out a okay. fit. That's okay. I literally and went that's wearing okay. sneakers, my boy. I was wearing Air Forces to Pico Landia. <laughs> 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 but did you have fun? 
Well, it was a good time. Okay, then that's all that yeah, matters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Applaud yes. the fun. Applaud the but, fun. But I wanna I wanna dress apart next time. I got you. I got you. And uh, buenos manos estás. Gracias. Okay? Ya dijiste. De nada. <laughs> we have we'll get you hey, too. Yeah. So we'll get you too. Fuck no, it's not all state. You're in good hands. It's Jack Jack. We're in good hands. Jack, con segura, está seguro. Ah! ah. 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 My boys and girls. I and should start everybody. an insurance company. Uh, <laughs> Be like I, Adriana con el perrito. <laughs> Wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. <laughs> wow, wow. 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 Wow, Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. For this episode. Thank you for listening. Thank, Thank you. you for having me, guys. It's been great. Thank you, Thank for, you for coming. Thank you for coming on a very impulsive notice. Yes. I, I'm sorry. I already know how I am. We're and super horrible with You guys, my phone things. was on Do Not Disturb, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but how we always say and how you said earlier, Gracias a Dios, by the grace of God, we're able to do this. We're able to have what we do and que más se pide. It's been a pleasure. Thank you guys so much. Thank you so much. That's great. Podcast. Yeah. So, so so you good. already know. Make sure you subscribe, like, share. Y hasta la otra. Vámonos. Adiós. Yeah. Adiós. 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 Adiós.